That's why my objection. Dr. Shashi Tharuji. Sir, again, three procedural concerns which are very serious. So number one, they're introducing a bill which removes the mandate to constitute special courts and are designating existing sessions courts to double up as special courts. Now, can you imagine, sir, our system is so clogged already, there's such a backlog. The law minister is constantly explaining to this house how many cases are backlogged in this country, and now you are only adding more cases to a clogged system. What is the point of this amendment? The bill is actually not based on any logical uh, approach, sir. We need special fast-track courts to hear terror cases. That's fine, but the bill doesn't propose that. Secondly, sir, and the three points. The special court judges to hear terror cases are normally specially selected by the Chief Justice of a High Court after a request is made by the NIA, but the bill, doesn't, uh, the bill basically removes this procedure. And third objection, sir, it's a completely piecemeal legislation because it ignores the fundamental problem in the NIA that NIA prosecutors have talked about, which is its lack of independence, especially in the area of prosecution. The former special prosecutor, remember, sir, said that, that she had been pressured to go soft on those accused of committing the bomb blast in Malegaon. So the government has also not filed an appeal on the acquittals in the Samjhata blast cases. Sir, the bill does not do anything to insulate the NIA from political interference. I think if the minister were kind enough to take the bill back, improve the bill, address these glaring gaps in the bill, and bring it back, it would be a better bill. My